You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's up you know me on Twitter, the gaming dragon today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Santa Lucia. Um, oh, man, I love the music in this game. Oh man, whoever composed the uh, the the opening theme for the menu, stellar work. I love it. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> In spite of wanting to intervene, my body stays put hidden behind the wall. Fatty don't have a mommy anymore, remember? Oh yeah! My pa says his pa smashed her face in! Ha <laughs> ha, what a loser! Yeah, who needs moms? <laughs> One of the kids walks up and kicks the dragon in the shin. Instead of retaliating, he simply slides down the wall and huddles forward, hiding his head between his knees. Please, leave me alone. That's for that scale I found on my backpack. Kid raises a fist and prepares a punch. This is going too far. What the hell do these kids think they're doing? No matter what I do, I can't break free of the strange paralysis holding me in place. Hey, what's going on over here? The kid stops right before he throws the punch with fear in his eyes. Ah, teacher's coming. We have to run. What about... The kids turn their attention back to the dragon, as do I. What the... I blink several times. He's not there. Disappeared. Never mind him, run! Without wasting another second, the kids disperse in different directions. My eyes track one of them as he runs out in the field, then fades away in a puff of smoke. One by one, the children in the yard start fading in the same way. Da! Once everyone's gone, I'm finally able to move. And the first thing I do is stumble over, barely catching myself on the wall before falling face first into it. I push myself back onto my feet and straighten out my shirt. I wonder where that dragon kid went. Disregarding the absence of children, I start wandering the field and, take, and taking in the atmosphere. I stuff my hands in my pockets to reminisce about my elementary school days. You know, I don't think I ever had a bully back then. Unless you count Karina's persuasiveness, I guess. She was never the kind to be shy about using a little phys physicality to get what she wants. <laughs> huh. That's precisely why I didn't have a bully. Was she protecting me? Lost in thought, I round a corner of the main building and get a wider view of the schoolyard. With such a cramped space, they managed to fit a lot of stuff here. Why? Hmm? My ears perk up. I stop in my tracks and look around. Behind a bush next to the building's wall, I see a blue tail laying over a pair of sneakers. My curiosity gets the better of me again. Hello? Is someone there? I should be surprised that I'm suddenly able to speak, but I push it to the back of my mind. The figure before me is more interesting. Sitting on the grass in a similar position as the kid from earlier, a college-aged dragon holds his head between his legs. Why? Zack, is that you? Responding to the sound of my voice, his head raises. Oh, God. Please. He stares at me with stone eyes behind that hood. Help me. His hand trembles as he holds it out toward me. I, 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 please. Take a deep breath. And I reach for his hand. My eyes swing open. On the nightstand directly across from my head, my phone buzzes loudly. Ah! I sit up and shake off the morning sickness, then grab the phone to check it. A text from Karina. Wanna walk to Fresh Sim together? My fingers dance on the screen, typing out a quick response. Are the others gonna come too? Yep. I lay back down in bed and stretch my arms. The blanket rides up a bit as I move my legs, allowing me to feel a cool air-conditioned breeze between them. Phew! At least I didn't have another incident this morning, from the looks of it. A little morning wood, though. My heart jumps in my chest when I hear the sound of the door opening. I quickly pull the blanket back down to cover myself, even though I'm wearing underwear. Good morning, Ben. Zach, what are you doing here? I... This is my room, too. I let out a quick sigh. I mean, you're not usually here at this time. Oh, <laughs> He walks up to his desk and places his backpack on his chair. My mom drove me home this morning so we could print out the essay for freshman seminar. He starts grabbing assorted books and binders from his drawer and stuffing them in the bag. Okay, makes sense. Now that I know it's just him, I slide out of the bed and continue my morning stretch. He quickly turns his head to look, to look the other way. Sorry, didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Um, so you're just waking up? I bend forward to reach my toes while keeping my legs straight. Yeah, I guess I forgot to set my alarm. <laughs> I repeat the motion a couple more times while Zach continues pacing, continues packing. He keeps his back to me as I transition into jumping jacks. Ha! Huh. You know you could have turned the paper, the paper in online, right? Huh? 
He unconsciously turns to face me. Ah! Oh, one second, y'all. Coffee time. Okay. What do you mean? I caught a quick glimpse of his face, where his cheeks have turned a light purple. Ha! Huh, ha! Huh. The school's web system, remember? All our classes have their own pages for assignments and stuff. I turned mine in that way as soon as I finished. Oh. I, I guess I didn't know. Huh. I finished my quick routine and walked forward, walked forward to grab a towel. I'm sure I'll be able to turn in a physical copy, don't worry. I wrap it around my waist and start scrounging for my shower supplies. You sure? Yeah, Dr. Shannon seems pretty chill. With the towel firmly in place, I reach under and slip my undies off. Um, what? I look at him, confused. It's just my underwear, right? And I'm covering myself up enough. Sorry, I'm just used to having the room to myself at this time. It's okay. He finishes zipping his backpack up and turns to face me while holding it in front of his waist instead of putting it on. I should get going. Hmm? If you wait about ten minutes, you can join me and my friends on the walk instead. I gesture towards the door with a thumb. I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Hmm. That's what my, uh, that's what my partner is doing right now. Then after that, they're gonna cook some teriyaki chicken and rice. And oh boy, oh boy, am I hungry. He bristles at the suggestion. I don't think I... Ah, I forgot, some, I forgot sometimes just how shy this guy is. Well, no pressure. I'd go if it were just you. I stopped for a moment to think. Actually, that can be arranged. I realized I forgot to respond to Karina. I brush over to my phone. Go without me, I'm walking to class with Zack instead. Sorry. Heh, I'm sure at least one person in the group will appreciate not having to wait for a slowpoke like me. There we go. I told him to go ahead and leave. You didn't have to. Nah, don't worry about it. We should really start spending more time together, after all. He stands and smiles. Alright, let me go wash up. Uh, we should try getting dinner at the UC together tonight. That sounds nice. Perfect! I give him a thumbs up before heading out the, heading out the door with my shower supplies. I'll be right back. Unsurprisingly, the walk to Freshman Sim is quiet. I try making some small talk on the way, like bringing up how hot it is today, but all I get in response is a yeah or an I know. Still, he seemed a little less tense than he usually is. After you! I hold the door to Redwood Hall open for him. Thanks. I follow right after him. The building is already saturated with students on their way to the first class of the day. Zack pushes on ahead, sticking close to the walls instead of weaving between the crowd. Sure are a lot of people here, huh? Yeah. I guess it could be worse. At least we're here on time. That's true. Before long, we're walking in the lecture hall. The doors were propped open by, by door stoppers, so the sound of the crowd outside echoes on the walls inside here, too. Ah, oh, come on in, boys. Don't be shy. Good morning. Dr. Shannon stands near the podium in the center, waving for us to approach. Hmm. Good morning, Dr. Shannon. Zack and I head down the steps. I can hear him ruffling through his backpack as we descend. Ah, oh, Ben. Yes? She smiles and pushes up her glasses. I've already started reading some of the turned-in essays. You have a mighty fine writing style. I look forward to more from you over the semester. Thanks. <laughs> well, a compliment this early. That's unexpected. I can't help but turn my head away as my cheeks begin to redden. Um, here's the essay, Professor. Her attention shifts to Zack as he hands her a couple sheets of paper stapled together. Zack, I'll accept this today, but in the future make sure you turn your essays in through the online system we have, okay? S sorry We have the system set up like that for a reason. Ha. Huh. He gets extremely flustered and stares down at the floor. Ben! We're over here today! Karina sits up from her seat and waves at me. R r be right over! I take a few steps in their direction, but stop when I notice Zack hasn't moved. By this point, Dr. Shannon is already at the top of the stairs, removing the wedges from under the doors. Zack? Yeah? You planning on sitting anywhere specific? Um... Heh, I guess I'll just sit over there. He points at a corner of the room nobody else is in. I roll my head to the side and smirk at him. Really? Didn't the professor tell you to sit with your group last time? Yeah, but... I shake my head. You should come with me, then. I gesture towards my group. You already know a couple of them, don't you? I don't want to intrude. Come on, dude, we're not like that. Besides, what kind of friend would I be if I let you sit by yourself, huh? Friend? He fixates on that one word for a moment. Okay, then. Let's go. Great. Shy Dragon follows behind me with his hands in his pockets. Second, y'all.
coffee time. All right. Shy Dragon falls behind me with his hands in his pockets. Hey guys, my roommate is going to join us today. Zach, good morning. G good morning, Karina. Good to see you again, dude. Hmm. Color stares down at his notebook, probably trying to ignore us or something. Oh, he's the dragon from Monday, isn't he? Hmm. Yeah. I rub behind my head. I suppose I should have factored in the behaviors first beforehand. I've got the seat next to me, Zach. <laughs> so do I. 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 He stammers for a second. I notice his face is changing color again. I should step in and help. Why don't you sit next to Karina? You know her the best out of us. What, what wouldn't you say? <laughs> okay. He follows my suggestion and takes the seat next to her. She gives me a thumbs up while he's not looking, and I grab the seat next to Brian in the row behind everyone else. Sup, dude? Hey, Brian. Nate turns around in his seat and looks back at us. <laughs> Did you sleep in again, Ben? No, whatever gave you that idea? <laughs> Guilty as charged, huh? Ah! Ugh. Carlos puts his pencil down and folds his arms impatiently. Okay, class, I think it's time we start. Class is dismissed a little over an hour later. Huh. This time we're given a reading assignment. That article is almost 60 pages long. I know, isn't it wonderful? Plan your time correctly and you will not have a problem. Thanks, guys. Really helpful. I shrug my shoulders after slipping my backpack on. I'll catch you guys later. I have to run, I have to run if I'm going to make it to my next class. See you later, Brian. With a quick wave gesture, he takes off up the stairs, skipping every other step. You doing okay, Zach? Y yeah, thanks. He taps his fingers on the fold-out table attached to the seat. Don't mention it. Remember, if you need help with anything, I'm only a text away. I, I know. She turns her attention to me as she stands up. Well, well, well. You sure seem pleased with yourself. Uh, what? I raise an eyebrow at her. Relax, I'm kidding. Just a little payback for ditching us this morning. Hey! Luckily, it doesn't seem Zach heard. He's busy packing his things. I trust everything is okay. I pause for a second to figure out what she means. Oh, yeah, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Perfect. I knew you could do it. I worked things out with Shay, too. I still hate her guts, but at least we, at least we won't beat each other's throats. One second, y'all. Coffee time. Hey, sweet little girl. Silly thing. Got a little kitty over here. Hey, sweet darling. Yes, you gonna say hello to the viewers for me? You gonna say hello to the viewers for me? Probably not. Your meow is awfully silly, is awfully cute and pathetic. <laughs> she got a little tiny meow. That's good to hear. With a flick of her big bushy tail, she heads for the exit. I'll see you in lab, Ben. And bye, Zach. And bye, Karina. B bye. Hey, sweet girl. Silly thing. So, you're Ben's roommate, huh? Uh, oh, uh... Th th that's correct, yes. Nate holds a hand out to Zack. My name's Nate. Zack hesitantly returns the gesture and gives him a light handshake. I I'm Zack. <laughs> nice to meet you. Huh. Sensing the mood, Carlos stops packing and turns to address the dragon, too. Carlos Delgado. Uh, oh, hello. It's nice to meet you, too. Zack gives the tiger a handshake as well. Um, I have to go now. Don't let us hold you back, then. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> Without another word, he heads for the exit. Excuse me. To my surprise, the professor walks up to us. Ah, Dr. Shannon. Thank you for a wonderful lesson today, Professor. Thank you for a wonderful lesson today, Professor. You're welcome, Nate. <laughs> Nate looks over at me with a smile. She remembers my name. Young man, if I could have a moment of your time. Dr. Shannon addresses Zack in specific. Me? It won't take long, but I noticed your confusion this morning when I said papers should be, retur should be turned in online. I would like to show you how that works. I know several other professors who wouldn't be as understanding as I am about the situation. Hmm. Professor, I could show him to do I could show him how to do it later tonight. Oh, I insist. It's my job as a freshman seminar professor to make sure every student knows how to use the systems expected of them. 
Okay. Zach relents, following Dr. Shannon up to the podium where she has her laptop set up. Hmm. If she's dealing with him, then I'm sure he'll be alright. Want to start heading to literature class? Sure. I take a moment to wave at Zach before heading out. See you later, Zach. He meekly looks up at me and waves back. All right, let's go. We leave Driftwood Hall an hour and a half later. Ha! Huh. With another 60 pages of assigned reading for Friday. Aw, oh, don't be so glum, darling. Nate leads the way into the current, the current of students heading towards Raymond Field. Remember what I said about breaking it down? 30 pages tonight and 30 pages tomorrow. You should be golden. I roll my eyes and frown. Not everyone reads as fast as you do, dude. It's not about reading speed, and you know it. As Carlos would say, you need discipline. Would everyone stop criticizing my study habits for a day, please? Karina, Carlos, Nate, Chris. Even Brian, of all people. At this point, I think the only one who hasn't said anything is Zach. And that's because he hardly talks in the first place. Sorry, Ben, but it's true. I know, I know. I'm working on it, all right? I just gotta get used to scheduling things. If you ever need help. Right, I ask Brian. Eh? He takes a shocked step back and stares at me in horror. I stick my tongue out at him. I'm kidding! <laughs> Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribing, that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!